Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Jesus Aguilar versus Matthias Mandelka. Jesus Aguilar 9-2, and 4-1 and one in his last five fights. His one loss is against Tetsu Teira, who's an incredible grappler. A triangle arm barred him. Plus 125 underdog, which seems nuts to me. 27 years old, 5-4 with a 62-inch reach. Fighting Mateus Mendoca, who's 10 and 2, 3 and 2 in his last five fights, losing both of his fights in the UFC. Looked decent against Javid Basharet. Wasn't didn't win any any part of that fight, but he had moments where he looked decent. Then he came back and he fought Nate Manus, and he looked like crap. Just constantly sticking to legs and not defending himself with punches. You know, Aguilar is a plus 125 underdog, a minus 150 for Mendoka. I would assume that's going to either, even go to a, either go to a pick em or Jesus Aguilar by the fight comes. He will be a favorite. 25 years old, 5'6", with a 71 and a half inch reach. That is absolute wild to me. That's nine and a half inch. Am I, am I, hold on. Eight is 70. Yeah, nine and a half inch reach advantage for Mateus Mendoca. That seems crazy. Jesus Aguilar, though, uh, he's nine and two, seven finishes out of his nine wins, and that one finish with punches is against Shannon Ross, who's I had actually had people telling me that Shannon Ross is gonna do well in that fight. He looked awful, so chill out on that. He looked terrible. Shannon Ross, out of here. But again. Seven finishes for Jesus Aguilar. That one loss being against a very, very good grappler. Does again have, oh my goodness, one, two, three, four, four guillotine chokes. It's not even all of his submissions either. Four guillotines. That seems crazy. Actually guillotined Edgar Charez in the fifth round back in 2020. That's it's a very, very good win. But, uh, Mateus Mendoca, again, 10 and Two, two fight losing streak, 25 years old, six finishes out of his 10 wins. Again, six finishes, which is pretty damn good. Got a big uh, finish on the uh, contender series in the first round under 50 seconds. He has a couple of those. One, two, three, four, wait, one, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, six finishes, six first round finishes. So, and he has been to a decision a few times. I actually fought, fought Pedro Nobri, who's 21-5-2, and, and beat him by a decision. That's pretty damn impressive. I want to know, is that a five-rounder? Nope, that's three rounds, and he went 15. Now, has he got back 22-7, and seven, one win, 38 years old, 18 finishes, 18 finishes out of 22 wins, four uh, finish. He's been finished four times out of his seven losses. Actually, had a no contest in the UFC. Really? He had a no contest in the UFC. Ooh, gay. Lori Alcantara, no contest, illegal blows, round one, and then he left. Okay. Okay, dokey. And then he left. Huh. I'm very curious to know what the heck happened on that one. UFC 7. Da, 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 da. End in a no contest. Illegal blows. Let's see. Can we? Yeah, let's pull this up. I want to know what the heck happened here. Let's find out. Because that seems a little, little weird. Da, 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 da. Oh, are you gonna show me? Put that on mute. Oh, that's a cup shot. I don't care about that. Um, ba, 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 ba. Oh, did did you did Yuri? Oh, I think he disputes quitter accusations. Oh, no. Oh, no. Gets win bonus. Yuri Alcantara gets win bonus despite no contest. So they thought, okay. Okay. I see. That. I see what happened here. Play by play. Typology. Da, 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 right here. Okie dokie. Let's see what happens. I don't know why I'm taking so much time. Um, 
let's see. Alcantara lands a hard kick to the body, start things off. He presses forward and nobody circles away. Nobody lands an exit on front kick to the groin. We've seen that. I've seen that at least. And Alcantara is given time to recover. He does, and the fight is started. Nobody lands a right hand. Alcantara answers the counter. The pace is furious. Nobody goes for single leg. Alcantara applies a Kimura. Nobody fights out of it, but it was bent all out of unnatural ways. Da, 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 da. He was one for punching in the back of the head. The referee steps into due to illegal shots. The shots on replay were not to the back of the head, but one before that could have been. Nobody remains on the canvas moaning. A doctor is brought in, and nobody stayed face down moaning. The fight has stopped. The replay sequence showed maybe one of the shots landed on the back of the head, and it wasn't a power shot by any means. This fight is ruled a no contest. Yuck. That is not good okay well yeah not good not good at all sorry just not good but yeah he beat him so i guess that's cool either way this has gone on for a little bit too long but mateus 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 mendoka looked really bad against mate nate manis i actually thought mendoka from his fight against uh, Javid Basharat was going to improve because he fought such a really, really good fighter in Javid Basharat. I thought he would do better coming back from that. He would learn. He would upgrade, being young as he is. And he just held on to a submission and got his face punched into oblivion. I, I really like Jesus Aguilar. I know it's an uphill battle, a big, big reach. But I like Jesus Aguilar. I think he gets the job done. And as always, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you guys are picking. Peace.